Tito knows what two plus two make. <laughs> this is a dog who can count, and his owner, Florin. You don't need to have a special sort of dog. You can count with any dog, and it's not just dogs. You can do it with dolphins or horses, and there are bound to be elephants who can count in circuses or zoos. Perhaps this elephant is working out how many steps it can take. Or maybe this parrot wants to know how many of its own species are sitting opposite. And this tiger is probably working out how much prey it can catch today. Scientists have already investigated whether apes can do calculations. What we were able to discover was that apes can certainly distinguish between different amounts. Even when these were relatively large amounts, and the difference between the amounts, which is the deciding factor, was relatively small. This means that they are evidently able, without using verbal numbers, to work out the difference in quantity between two discrete amounts, between countable amounts. This orangutan shows the beaker containing six rather than four pieces of food. But in human terms, is what's been shown to work with all primates really calculation? So far, we have no real evidence to suggest that apes would be able to do that. As I said, dealing with quantity seems to be part of their natural repertoire. But I'd say that everything that we call calculation or mathematics is on a higher level of abstraction. And not even Cato is capable of abstraction. Even if nobody notices, there is a trick. Somehow, Cato knows when to stop barking, and he doesn't need a degree in mathematics to do it. <laughs>